ஒர்க்ரூப் or uh, this is your user profile okay all your apps whatever the apps you have this can be seen here okay so this i don't want currently and this is my uh, user profile what are all the recent activities you done app finders and settings you want to create any groups something you can use here mm-hmm. okay so i will just say for example so these are all the apps i have but i don't want to use all these apps i mm-hmm. will go and uh, create one group and i will try to use only those apps okay come here and search for all apps so what is the first one is create sales order okay so every action is app is it yeah now everything is created as uh, app in theory every transaction so here uh, we have three kinds of apps one is uh, uh, three categories basically one is uh, transactional based apps like your sales orders create sales orders or display sales order manage your sales orders or uh, mm uh, your manage material masters mm02 mm03 each are created as one transactional based apps and another one is reporting based apps uh, which is va23 va25 Uh, or BA twenty four, or uh, you say BF zero four, okay, mm-hmm. and the uh, VIW seventy five for contracts, or if you have a BA zero five, BF zero five N, or BA zero four, BA zero six, all these are all reports, right? In your EC, yeah. so those yeah. are all created here as a reporting based apps, yeah. and the third one is the fact sheets. Fact sheets is uh we have a uh, sales order fulfillment cockpit right okay so it's a combination of a uh, transaction and it's basically uh, gives you the overall sales orders which are incomplete or uh, from the sales order which are how many are about to deliver how many are not delivered how many yeah. are on block like what if what if yeah mm-hmm. sales order fulfillment cockpit ST12 kind of uh, report, right? Uh, ST12. 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 No, but ST12 is a report. I mean, uh, this uh, this report is a standard. standard sorry, this transaction is a standard one, uh, Bharati, which will uh, show how many are due for uh, invoice, how many due uh, for uh, outbound delivery. <laughs> Yeah, so this is coming to theory uh, like what is a like you know functional area and like you know there are like front end and back, back, back end right so like you know can you tell me like uh, which area who who should be like you know which expertise uh, need to work on yeah sales orders so actual apps we have maybe i need to click on this a little bit slow okay we will do one thing so let me just go to the i'll try to open the sphere launch pad we will see what it is giving
So we have a sales order, incoming sales order corrective, display sales order cost estimation, sales order fulfillment. Mm -hmm. So not all the apps are enabled. Is it possible to see um, the available apps for sales and distribution? Something like that? Yeah, so that's also possible. We need to just go inside this. Uh, mm. this sales, right? So sales transaction, everything will be I G H I J K L M N. Now we are checking the transaction app, right? Mm. So let's see transaction. sales orders. Yeah, sales orders we have. It should be sales orders, great sales orders. Yeah, sales orders. Mm. Okay, I will try with the sales orders. Mm. Okay, What's sales orders actual, so it's only just a reporting. Uh, we don't have a sales order create. Okay, sales orders. Uh, in this, we see what uh, is available. Sales orders actual, sales order act display, sales order is there, VA03. Monitor and any other things. Or we can just type VA01. I think may be possible. Uh, but create itself is not enabled. Okay. Mm. It's just the uh, option was disabled here. Otherwise, it should be added. No, it was not enabled. In the disabled and sent, this was not added for mm. uh, the role. Mm. Okay, all my apps. Let's see with all my apps. Consolidation we have. So we have only few apps which are available. Uh, okay, so let's see if we have a display sales order. I think we have zero three is the right. So from this cockpit, we cannot select and add something uh, which is relevant for us. For our yes. Well, we can that's a, a that's what no. I think first is uh, first is role. I think under the role you should have access to them. I guess. Yeah. Display sales orders. No apps are enabled in the standard itself. Apps are there, but it was not added to our roles. Can we add it ourselves? Yeah, that can also we, try we that? can try. Uh, say yeah. for example, but we need to find the role. Okay, so say. Zero one B. So it should be it the same role as of uh, ECC, no? Yeah, she gave simple finance. Mm. 
So but simple finance, we are able to we are, at least we are able to create orders in uh, uh, Hana right in GUI. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> GUI we can create. Uh, it does not depend. But only the roles what he has signed is uh, not uh, this one. So let me just see if I can try to add it. Hmm. So jet SAP, I'll just try with the same name. Mm -hmm. BPC employees, sales is not there. I think uh, admin, admin, yeah, last four. Uh, these are all UA to admin. Uh, administrative tasks for UA technology, net fever, this role. Maybe composite roles we have. All the same. Mm. It's also the same, right? 11 entries. Yeah, let's try, try with a different um, keyword. So let's try with uh, something like SD. Star SAP, star SD, something like that. Let's say sales. Then let's say the representative OEM. We have manager. Order processing. There is one order processing. Order crossing, is it? In just be, just below that. Uh, this is CRM. Uh, that is CRM. Below also there is one. SAP LO. Hmm. Internals. Oh, there are some Z underscore BR. I'm not sure whether that, that may be helpful for us. Yeah, so we can try for internal sales representatives and any other thing we have. So let me add this first. Okay, so let us try with this. We will see what happens. So let me try to connect back. I will close this and come back. Yeah, now I think we got something more. Yeah, all fulfillment. Very, uh, very good. Okay, sales oh, order fulfillment. Entire thing corporate. is available. Yeah, entire so thing is available. Analyze no. issue, sales order fulfillment. Yeah, this is important thing. Sales okay, order how do we search under, under, under all you search for just for sales, is it? Yeah, yeah. sales. It will give okay. you whatever apps uh, by using the keyword. Okay. Okay. So which so transaction yeah. you went and maintained this one? Is it something like a PFCG kind of transaction you enter? No, no. Uh, I just added in the SU01. PFCG is where your roles will be available that you need to add it in the SU01. Correct. The same thing, buddy. The same PFCG roles. We just search to search in the SU01D roles tab. That's all. Mm -hmm. We just searched for it and then added whatever relevant for sales order processing. So after that, uh, Santosh, uh, once we launched again, this the same screen 
was available or you have to search and add it no no i, I missed that no need to add just in the search button in the command prompt so let me just i'll show you mm. so mm. In, in the all after that you have a search field right there i just correct correct you you type in sales okay yeah. enter the scheme word as a sales let system will provide Did you add something apps. no no mm. system will add all the apps which are with the, starting with the sales it's man sales sales order fulfillment sales order anything mm. all this role will be available mm. but it is taking time to load mm. maybe we can relaunch it yeah i'll just try to refresh mm. uh, so this is the uh, everything is customer enhanced and designed uh, kind of uh, app right so they can access through mobile or ipad anything yeah and uh, is, is this like uh, it is uh, language uh, compatible with any friendly, device language friendly also like they, if they want to only maintain with the you no know, if they want to access only through uh, spanish or french you know can we make it only that way that depends again on your sc01 if you user user profile language, yeah 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 language uh -huh. is only english so english apps only will be disabled available mm -hmm. uh, if your uh, sc01 is having a different languages right multiple so then you will see multiple and how do they typically launch this in a mobile device mobile device is just a link now we are just going in here uh, using a link right so you are you will launch correct Okay, so yes. they have to just save a shortcut on their uh, on their uh, desktop, a mobile desktop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just trying to create a sales order with whatever we used, ten zero zero. Okay, continue. And what is the number we have? Thousand. Uh, ship to is also let's say thousand in a fury. This normal doesn't give a drop down option. Like say, if sold to party. If you just type in thousand, then you would ideally see the name uh, yeah, and all the basic details. Personal no? setting, right? It's a history. Uh, it's uh, not the history. It's by the default option. Default option. Not even the history. Uh, not even the history. So once you start typing in, it will start showing you the, all the relevant. Uh, um, history. It is a history option. In your GUI, you it? history. Uh, Can I just try it, please? Yeah. Because I, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, no, I understood what you're saying. It's just the, um, but what I want to see yeah. just in VS zero one screen. Correct. So that will be uh, based on your history options. So I think this was in the history is not available. So this is a history yes. status is on. History status is on. Let's try it. Let's try it, uh, Sir Santosh. Just go to VS zero one, please, on the GUI. GUI. Okay. Hmm. You can see now it is coming. Mm, and this is fine. Okay. Okay. Just give over. Okay. Now, in the customer, just start typing in one zero. <clears throat> it will give me. Okay. Doesn't show. Okay. 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 Then I think there was a there's a different uh, version which I'm using. Okay. So when you start using it, right, it will by default show the list of customers already. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so what is the material we have? One. Okay, so this is the material. Payment terms. Uh, you can choose the payment terms. So it's showing what are all the mandatory uh, one. Hmm. Red ones are mandatory, is it? Yeah, the red ones are mandatory screens. It shows for block also. It's like your incompletion log, I think. Also for delivery and billing block also. No, no, these are not uh, incompletion logs. Incompletion logs is uh, your system will allow you to save, but here these hard blocks. If you are not able to proceed also without this. Hmm. Okay, so this is something. Maybe like... it's already predefined. I think backend. Ah, uh, even in your ECC also you are getting this one, right? Hmm. Enter payment terms. Yeah, 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 yeah. So something it is not popping. Say same problem as of uh, GUI. Yeah. So delivery block is not mandatory. Uh, it disappears. Ah.
Building this block is not a mandatory, but uh, you should still read it. You could delete it. Okay, so let us just go double click it. We'll see what happens. Uh, it is not allowing me to go inside the next screen. Okay, order quantity one. Hmm. So next is there is a pricing error PPR zero. Uh, that's fine. And I need to enter my plant one seven one zero. Okay. Conditions. What is the number PPR zero, right? PPR zero. Yeah. So this fifteen is my cost. And I'm just trying to save it. So there should be some uh, mandatory fields. Okay, income is there. Just try to save. Okay, now I will go to what is the number? Two. Now I will go to here. Search for my sales order. I am in a different uh, one. My sales order. Just go. Okay, so this is my sales order. Here, what I can do from here the screen, I can reject items. I can do a building block. I can put remove the block. I can set a delivery block. And I can do a remove a uh, billing block. So from the okay. manage sales order, if you are going for any exams, right, or your certification exams, what are all the options you are available? So this mm -hmm. you can see. From the manage sales order, I can create a new sales order. So I can reject items in the sales orders. Yeah. I can do a delivery. So all these things we can do. And um, uh, how many lines it will typically have, and what's the maximum possible? I can do a single time delivery block set for. Uh, say, like, say, list of orders. Uh, same nine like, uh, is the current uh, what we have. No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, my question is in this, we are seeing only one order. Like, say, I want to set the block for 100 orders, which I created today. No, it is at not uh, item level, header level. This are all you are saying about items, right? No, no, header level only. For example, yeah. um, I created some 100 orders today. Uh -huh. But unfortunately, they had to be placed on header level block. Okay. So when I go to Savannah sales orders and just say created by or something like that, I'm searching mm -hmm. and given a date, then it will list the number of orders, right? Yeah, so what I'm saying, nine, nine, how nine. many will, how many lines will be available here? How many sales orders will be displayed together? Oh, this is, you're seeing in this screen, is it? Ah, uh, in this, this screen, exactly. Ah, total, this screen, uh, it's based on your screen personal setup, but the total 999 oh. system will give. 999 okay yeah okay and again this can be a, a standard one and if you develop something customized on your own you can uh, there is no limit you can have a multiple also okay so i can also uh, add filters like say created by yeah. and uh, things like that no here, here you cannot do it because it's standard app uh you need okay. to a new uh, new app okay 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 so but here we have some filters if created by is there we will see Mm. Uh, move filters. Okay, change by is available. So if uh, created by, mm. already, so you can create, you can add this. Mm. But mm. if something you want to see, uh, not only this, you want to add something like uh, I want to see based on my shipping quant. Okay, so those mm. shipping quant is available in the filters, you can add it. But if it is not available, okay. to add it in your filters is the, uh, you can uh, uh, you standard uh, uh, Fury app will not will not available for modification. You have to create your own app. Just copy the sales order, create sales order, and you uh, create on your own app. Okay. Nice one. Okay. So now I'm just going into the, this are all not available. Sales order fulfillment to corporate. So in this, we can find out all my blocks all my incompletion procedures, any blocks, any sales order which are uh, pending for delivery, overdue for delivery, all those things we can see here. So what are the issues we have? Analyze the issues, potential issues, say uh, based on my sales order. So what is my sales order number? The system will ask you to enter your sales order. So second one, in this sales order, what are all the issues I have? Okay, select issues. So what issues I have in this sales order, I can see incomplete data for sales order. 
so there is incomplete data delivery issues are also there right what are deli- what are delivery issues uh, uh, what are the things which are classified as delivery issue uh, basically block is it issues is basically when you are uh, creating a delivery uh, what is the main thing you need is shipping point and store location hmm so those are not available right so i just uh, try to click here you see sales organization uh, there is a delivery issue one what is it in for this 1710 uh, we'll just go to the issues so total we have these many issues but total issues yeah, we can click one okay per instruction we have total issues one and if i okay to the completion log uh so total issue means it's a uh, number of sales orders which have delivery issue. yeah it's only based on the sales order it is not resolution we are just analyzing the sales order potentially mm. potential issues customer reference mm. or need issue uh, sales order sold to party and what are all we have is customer reference fury uh, document date sales orders we can see the sales orders how many sales orders we have in incompletion data so only one sales order okay so based on the sold to party how many we have so all these things we can see in the sale analyze issues but if i want to resolve the issues in the sales order level i will go to the home screen okay sales order first the sales order analyze issue should be there and next sales order analyze issue will come into the sales order fulfillment resolve issues okay in the order level okay so this is my total one uh, we have incompletion for delivery issues we have incompletion issues delivery issues so select this and uh, resolve incomplete data just click on this so what is that we have uh, payment terms cross weight net weight shipping point and payment terms like this we have just this is again going into your incompletion data okay it's a uh, it is calling your gui data only okay web gui basically mm-hmm. it's a html gui so you can select and complete the data uh, payment terms i will just to see this is not and i'm not able to enter somewhere this and edit the next data so we'll select all and go to the complete data okay uh, this 1710 i think it should take why it is not taking shipping condition is missing okay so where i need to enter the shipping conditions i will just go to the next data let me come back to this gross weight and net weight okay so i'll just go to this then and so, uh, sir like you know uh, shipping point we got a lot issue right mm-hmm. so again in a back end like you know in in a spro if you maintain the configuration and just refresh this it will take how much time it will take it, it depends on uh, from s s4 back end system to the front end right mhm No, this is currently you are creating in the front end only. It will go and update right. the back end. No, no, he's saying somewhere the config is missing. So if I go to GUI SPR, we maintain the shipping point determination. Come back here. If I just refresh it, it will be automatically yeah, taking it, it or it not. It is real time call. Uh, real time call. Mm. You don't need to. It's not okay. a offline call. Real time. It will be synchronous process because mm-hmm. so every, everything is available in your uh, network. <clears throat> I think you can't refresh it, uh, Shiva. Yeah, we can. Maybe refresh it. Refresh it okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, reload. That's all. So what I am trying to do is I have to go back to my. I will go back. Okay, there is shipping point issue is there. 
I will just try to save it. Let it come in a issue. So no issues. Just I will save. Because I need to come back and add into the header. Okay. So header, I will go to header, display document flow, propose item, more, go to header. Okay, in the header, we have it in the shipping or sales, right? Shipping condition is in shipping or header? Ship it should be in the header shipping. Yes. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, now just try to save it. Redetermine. The shipping conditions will not... Uh, it's already should be done. So let's mm. say uh, I will go back to the order fulfillment cockpit again. Okay. So what is that order fulfillment cockpit we have now? How many issues? Only one. Uh, let us see. I think uh, order fulfillment resolved. No issues found. No, there should be some. You need to go for analyze issues first. We have a delivery issues also. Huh? We have to just see. So yeah. how many issues are there uh, currently for sales order level? So maybe when you click on redetermine. Uh... Yeah, I think shipping part is the one which already done. So I think it. Mm, yeah. Done. So I think it's almost done. Yeah, it's already done. So we don't have any issues now. Okay. So manage sales orders. We have two sales orders. One is a uh, uh, one and one is a second one. Now I will go into uh, sales order fulfillment. So how many issues we have, we can see it here. Sales order fulfillment issues. I can see this is another app. Is it opening? Yeah, it's opening. So total issues, uh, is, is issues total by issue category and issue total by sales formation by sold to party and by week. So just trying to go fetch all the information. So any technical issues, uh, Adapter need any extra skill set like U, UI5 kind of anything? Yeah, yeah, this is not based on your normal above. It is uh, Java stack and UI5, HTML basically. Okay. okay, so in uh, total order, we have a uh, two. Okay, at uh, sales organization level, we have two. So basically, there are two sales orders only, you know, we have created. So that's why it's showing zero. And 2020, how many we have? So issues are not there currently, zero, because it's completely resolved. Okay. So, but it is very interesting. This fury is very interesting. Only thing is, it's not a standard uh, one. It's, uh, we need to go with the, uh, uh, go with the fury apps. Fury and, uh, wait. I think this internet. Can you able to see? Yeah. I'm just going to the home. So track your sales orders. We can track the sales orders. How many sales orders are created, which are due for delivery, which are due for building, uh, requested delivery date, all these things we can see. So only when you are writing for S4 now exams, right? So each and app, every app, they will ask what other functionalities you can do. So let's say I go into my uh, uh, fulfillment corporate, sales order fulfillment corporate. What I can do is I can reject the sales order. I can resolve the incompletion documents. I can remove delivery block. I can remove billing block, create check, display create decisions and process flow. All these things I can use. I can check using the sales order fulfillment corporate. Okay, this this credit check uh, is is a uh, is uh, different uh, compared yeah, to the FSM ECC, based. no? Yeah, it's FSM FSM based. We will discuss it. Later. Okay. So now, if you are clear on sales order fulfillment corporate, so what we are trying to do basically, we are just analyzing the issues and we are resolving the issues. Both are having a different uh, issue. Uh, so the tactiles. Okay. So now we'll again just go into the home screen. Uh, manage sales documents with a customer expected price. So we have a EJ, IW, some condition types are there, right? So those are all we can do it. And any other uh, things we can do it. Sales orders without change. We did not make any change. List of sales orders without change. So there are no sales orders. Any create numbers created? So those are all not available. 
and debit memos also not there. Sales quotations would not create anything. Enquiries also would not. Contracts, analytics. Yeah, these are all analytical apps. Uh, basically, uh, I can say analytics in sense your fact sheets, open sales orders, your confirmed as per request, back orders. So sales orders which are termed as a back orders, BOP. All these things will be coming as a, your fact sheets in the reporting. Okay, so this is again uh, transaction based list of sales orders V.02, right? So in a standard SAP, ECC. Duplicate sales orders in the current month, you can do list of sales orders by object status. So this is also you can find it out. Uh, in case if you have a status profiles. Okay, so V.01. So this is nothing but your incompletion. So both are same. If you have scheduling agreements, you can see master data, manage customer materials. Uh, this is a